Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a Whitley County man was sentenced to life behind bars. And a Clark County farm lost half its cattle after a fire. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gayhart. It is 459 on Friday, July 28th. And we're gonna send it straight over to Cameron because there is a lot going on today, Cameron. Yeah, Chaz, it's kind of surreal. At this mm -hmm. exact moment, exactly one year ago, we were in this exact same place for a historic flooding event across the mountains on July 28th. Thankfully, nothing like that this morning, but we do have a first alert weather day in place on Friday, not for storms, but because of the heat. We are expecting some very warm temperatures later on today. We do have a heat advisory in place for all the counties in orange. That's for most of the region, and that goes into effect at 11 o'clock this morning. That will last through 10 p.m. tonight. So technically, Campbell, Claiborne, Lee, Wise County is not under the advisory, but still, it's going to be warm out there as we go into this afternoon. We could see temperatures as high as the middle to possibly upper 90s. Heat index values possibly above 100 in some places later on today. So just be sure that you take plenty of breaks and also drink water if you plan to be outdoors today. This morning, temperatures are mild and muggy in the upper 60s and lower 70s up on the radar. Most of us are dry, but we are tracking a few spotty showers out there this morning. One just to the north of Stearns in McCreary County near Highway 27. Though a small shower there. Also a few light sprinkles in Menifee County into Rowan, also Morgan County. I also want to point out a flash flood warning just to the north and east of Lexington this morning near Cynthiana. Radar suggesting possibly close to seven inches of rainfall late last night, early this morning near Cynthiana. So some folks over northern Kentucky, some heavier rainfall this morning, but nothing like that for us here in the mountains for today. Most of us are dry this afternoon, but watching out for possibly a few stray showers. The big story, though, the heat temperatures middle to upper 90s. More details on that in just a few minutes. Chas. Thanks, Cameron. A Whitley County man was sentenced to life in prison after murdering a pregnant federal witness. Court records revealed 33 year old Daniel Scott Nance of Woodbine participated in drug trafficking from March 2017 to March 2019. In 2019, some of Nance's suppliers and co-conspirators were indicted by a federal grand jury. One of them was Jerry D. Johnson. Police say Nance learned Johnson was cooperating with law enforcement and he decided to kill her. Now to a developing story in Bell County where a woman was shot and flown to a hospital. Officials say she was shot in the neck. The incident occurred on Highway 987 near Laurel Hill. Pineville Police and the Bell County Sheriff's Department responded to the call. It is unknown at this time if the shot was intentional or accidental. Deputies with the Whitley County Sheriff's Office are looking for a missing man. They say 38-year-old William Rapier was last seen on July 17th in the Pleasant View community. Officials describe Rapier as a six feet tall and 140 pounds with brown eyes and brown hair. He was last seen wearing a black shirt and blue jeans. If you have any information, you can contact Whitley County Dispatch at 606-549-6017. Officials with the Pikeville Police Department are asking for help in identifying three men about an ongoing investigation. Officials say the three men you are looking at on your screen were in a black passenger car. Pikeville PD says if you have any information about the case, you can call 606-437-5111. Officials with the Floyd County Sheriff's Department are looking for a stolen motorbike. They say a 2022 KTM motorbike was taken from the Oxshire community early Wednesday morning. Officials say they also noticed a maroon four-door Dodge truck following the bike after it was stolen. If you have any information about that incident, you can call Floyd County Sheriff's Department at 606-886-6171. Staff at the Kentucky Governor's Office has announced grant money for economic development projects in our region. The City of Somerset gets $1.5 million in funding to help the Somerset-Pulaski Economic Development Authority pay for project engineering. And Menifee County Fiscal Court will receive nearly $150,000 for their industrial park. In all, seven counties are getting grant money. Construction of the controversial Mountain Valley Pipeline through West Virginia and Virginia can resume. 
The Supreme Court agreed to lift lower court orders that froze construction while legal challenges play out. Justices granted an emergency request from backers of the Mountain Valley project to allow construction to resume. The pipeline's planned route is about 300 miles long. The Clark County Fire Department responded to a call about a barn that collapsed on top of the farm's cattle Wednesday morning. Officials don't know what caused the collapse, but they say poor weather conditions could be to blame for the collapse that killed seven out of 15 cattle. Went through the process of uh, making sure the structure was sound and safe enough for us to go inside and remove all the live cattle that was remaining. Clark County Road and Solid Waste Department helped assist in the response. Supervisor Alan Curtis says Clark County is a small farming community that will always take care of its neighbors. The CDC says skin cancer is the most common form of cancer across the U.S. And with summer in full swing, skin cancer specialists are, wearing, are warning everyone of the risks that come with extended sun exposure. UK Chief of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology, Dr. John DeRazio, says some skin cancers include squamous and basal cell carcinomas, most commonly seen in older people, and melanoma, which is the deadliest of impacts people of all ages. Guidelines for checking your skin frequently and going to get, you know, skin checks by a professional um, are intended to catch these cancers early while they're more treatable. Dr. DeRazio adds, even though it is most common for, the, for those with lighter complexions to get skin cancer, it is still possible for those with deeper skin tones to get it. The first Country Music Highway tribute show will take place Saturday in downtown Paintsville. Food and arts and crafts vendors open at 11 a.m. Music starts at 2 p.m. and the shows are free. Due to the heat, free water will be handed out. And we will have a booth and be doing guest weather, so stop by and say hello. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, car wrecks happen every day, but some Kentuckians are more concerned than others. Plus, a first alert weather day is in place as heat index values could exceed 100 degrees later on today. All those details coming up next.